Hello and welcome to a new video about fixing my stairway light. I'm using a Siemens logo here. Uh, old logo, but logo, right? So uh, I said we want to have three stages. So I, I'm going to add a new diagram now. Okay, the new diagram, general device, program name. How is the program name? Isle light. Isle, a Isle, hardware type is correct, IO settings. Work online setting connect okay everything is working all right so here we have to rename this let's save this good what I want to have is I want to have those three stages permanently on, as a, uh, on with automatic turn off after time, permanent on, and low lights, so there's small lights in the power sockets. I want to have this with uh, with those ledge relays, so I have here one ledge relay, I have here one ledge relay, and I have here one ledge relay. Place them somewhere. Ah, I really don't know what exactly is the reason behind this that this shifting of those elements is that hard uh, block name i will call light turn off Lito. <laughs> block name light on Li lion lion and uh, Light low. Lilo. Lilo. Sounds like a buffer. I will also use uh, flex to store this because then using flex we can make a recursive, recursive program. This means command. Uh, light on, auto off. All right. This command light on, manual off, and this command, oh, this command, uh, low lights on. Good. That's it. Huh? We have to, uh, going to connect those. Now we need an input. The input from the from this button. And I will do it on falling trigger. To use falling trigger, I'm using here an end block. Invert this. Now this is the falling trigger now. Whenever this falling trigger appears and we are not here and not here, so we need an end, falling trigger, and not permanently on, and not low lights on, invert. What is then done? Then we will set this. We will set this. Right? Now we have to take care that it automatically turns off. So I'm using here a wiping relay, edge triggered wiping relay. Will be triggered. This will go to zero. So we'll go to zero. So I use somewhere an, an or. Now I'll use again an and. This is now a falling trigger of this. The falling trigger will reset. We'll reset this. 
What will also reset this? If we are permanently on. So this flag will also reset the previous, the previous part. It's a little bit to the right. In case we have a falling trigger and we are not here and not here, we will trigger a time and once the trigger time is gone, we will reset this. Let's check if this is really, if this is really working. Simulate, rising, falling trigger. Uh huh. It's not working. Actually, I have to use here pulse width. I will use five seconds. Then we should see something. Uh -huh, look, this is already on. After five seconds, seconds it shall turn off. Yes. Rising, falling, on. Time is running. Light auto off is, is on. So actually the light should be on now and it's gone. Okay. So this worked. This worked. And if I re trigger, This is also working. I can extend the time. Good. Now we have to take care that we uh, can also do a double click. I will use a second of those vipers. Uh -huh. Edge triggered viper. Place it here somewhere. All right. So this and this shall be, let's say, within one second. Within one second, if I am pressing a second time, and if I'm pressing a second time, and I'm still within this wiping time, I'm turning on the permanent light. And I also have to be in light on mode, auto off mode. And then when should I turn this off? And pressing the button. And we are in this mode. I turn it off. Huh. It's working. We're on. Second time. Oh, look, it was, it was working. Second time is also on. And now, off. <laughs> All right. All right. Auto off. Auto off. Auto off. Prolong the time? No. Uh huh. Auto off. Prolong the time? No. Why is that? Why is this set? Aha. Auto off is working. Why is this happening? How can this be that this is set now? Using here a little bit longer time. 20 seconds. Turn on. This is gone. And now, if a trigger, this cannot be triggered. Oh yes, it can. 
because this will also start to work. So I have to trigger this somehow else. Prolong is no longer working. Mm -hmm. How will you do it like that? Yeah. Remove this and make a connection from here. Now it should work. Yeah, I can prolong it now. Okay, let's switch back to five seconds. Turn on. Automatically turn off. Turn on. Permanently turn on, turn off, turn on, prolong. All right. Permanently turn on, I will try to turn it permanently, turn on and turn. Permanently turn on, turn off, turn on. All right, it's also working. Looking good, I must say, looking good. And now, actually, I need to check if I'm turning, if I have turning on longer. How to do this? If the input is there, I will simply use an on delay. On delay. And if both are on and how long do we have to press? Let's say longer than one second. This and the input, if both are on, if the on delay is on and the input is on, then we know we have pressed the button for longer than one second. And if we are pressing the button for longer than one second, and pressing the button for longer than one second, yuck. And we are not in stage one. And we're not in stage two. And we're not in stage three. Right, the next one. We'll turn on this. Good. Huh? And if we press the button. We press the button and this is turned on. Turn it off. See if this is working. Auto off. Auto off. Auto off. Prolonging time. Prolonging time. Double click, permanent on. Turn off. Good. Press and hold. Light slow is on. Ooh yeah. Ha! <laughs> this is good. Press and hold, then I turn it on. And as soon as I am turning it off, it will disappear. Okay. Okay. How to solve this?
I will also make here an end edge triggered. This time a rising edge. I will make a, a ledge relay here. This I will set with this. No, not with this. I will set it with this signal. Now I don't want to move this. Now I'm moving it. I'm setting it with this signal. And I'm resetting it with pressing the button. And I only turn off. I only turn off if this is not set. So I have to press it two times. Let's see. This line. Is crossing some other lines. We move it here. This line, yeah. and here we have to invert. All right. Let's see if it's now working. Press and hold. Okay. We turn this on. This is turned. This is turned on. So we are. We are. If I release it now, it will not switch. If I press it again and release it, it will turn off. All right. So this is this is remembering if I'm already released, if I've already released something. Good. Block nine. Auto turn off time. Part one. And now we only need the outputs. We only need the outputs. Output. Yeah. This is the output to the lamps. Lamps on. And this we have to do or in case we want to have the lamps on automatically and in case the lamps are on and will be turned manually off. Lamps on. And then we have a second output. This will turn off on in this case. Maybe I could have used this, this, not a flag, but a, an output. Low lights on. Lamps are on because the time has already started. Good. Press the button. Now I expect it to be manually turned off, uh, automatically turned off. Yes. Press the button. Now I want to prolong it. And I can prolong it. Good. Wait until it's turned off. Ah, wait until it's turned off. Maybe it would be a good idea to, to make this reset table with this long pressed button here. So if we make here, oh, I will simply extend this to make this end. Here. Yeah. Oh, this was stupid. Make an end here somewhere. Here. Yeah. Right. Here. Yeah. If we press in the button long and we are we have turned on here. We reset this. Ah. Reset this as well. Let's see if this is working. Press the button on. Reset. Automatically. Automatic turn off. Automatic turn off. Prolong the time. Good. Automatic turn off. Automatic turn off. Press the button. Can be turned off. Uh huh. Have the low lights on. Ha! <laughs> Not that easy. Why is this happening? We turn it off here. As soon as we turn it off. 
who have this also fulfilled. I will use, I will use the same, the same function here. So we have a latching relay, another latching relay. As soon as we turn this here off, as soon as we turn this here off, I will set it. As soon as we press the button a second time, I will reset it. And here I would need another input. So I make an end here somewhere. And this end is is not that not that and not that those i will remove instead of those i'm using this however not inverted i'm saying not this latch here Not working. Automatically turn off. Good. Automatic turn off. Prolonging time. Good. Now, automatic turn off. Good. Automatic turn off. Turn off. Good. Double click. Permanent turn on. Turn off. Long button press. No longer working. Ah. Uh, for this, this is I. Ah, uh, uh, done. Long button press. Simulation. Long button press. Long button press. Scheiße. Automatic turn off. Long button press, turn off. And everything's zero. Long button press. Turn on the low lights. Good. Turn off the low lights. Good. Double click. Permanent on. Right. Turn off. Lamps on. Why are you coming on now? Because I turned them off. I also need to fill in this one here. Here, when turning on. Ha! <laughs> this is the reason. So I will also feed this to here. Oh, we have a pretty complex. Structure ready. Again, check it. It was not that easy. Everything settled now. Turn on. Auto now I want to turn it off. Hook turned off. Release. Good. Now it seems to work. Turn on. Automatic turn off. Turn on. Prolong. Working. Turn off. Book. And now double click. Permanent turn on. Jawohl. Turn off. And now long term press. Then we should turn on the low lights. Yes. Now we can turn off the low lights. Yes. Finally, so that's it for one for one element. Uh, I have two two uh, stories, lower part, upper part in my in my doorway, in my in my stairway. So I will cope with this logic.
and then it should work. Do so. Copy. What if I do paste? Whoosh. Done. <laughs> Simulate. Fast. Should work, I guess. Good. Download it to the to the logo. Start. And it's waiting. That's it for this time. That's it. Next time, I will try if we can configure the timing and so on here. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.